today i am going to work on flushing the cooling system of my car it is a 2016 honda crv and it has been recommended by the manufacturers or the dealer to change the cooling or flush the cooling system in every three years so that's what i'm going to do today so uh, these are the things you will need so so you need the anti-freezer coolant you can get it from any honda dealership or even you can buy it from uh, amazon so so i recommend you to get the original honda parts or original honda cooling system or coolant then i will need a split free funnel so it has different adapters and it will help you to pour the coolant liquid into the system so i'll show you how to use it later and finally i will need a drain container to contain the liquids or the used liquids from the coolants of the car okay so this is the interior of the car and i have to figure out the location of the coolant system or the lead of the cooling system so uh, if we take a look in a zoomed version or from the top of the car you can see there is a lead over here um, this one over here. So this is actually the lead which i have to lose so that the liquid from the system can go to the container so i'll place the container below um, let me take the container so i place the container in the below of the car and you can take a look from the top over here yeah so that's the container so first thing i have to lose that lead uh anti-clockwise slowly so that the water can or the cooling liquid can pour into that container so i will use my hand and i'll try to lose it anti-clockwise in anti-clockwise direction it's actually very tight so i have to use my fingers Dry. okay so it's now being loose so let me lose it a little bit more okay so the liquid is going down let it drain fully so that i can tighten it later so it may take a little bit time so I mean, so the liquid is draining uh, into the container and it may take a little bit of time a few minutes to drain all the water or all the liquids from the system into the container and then there is a reservoir, coolant reservoir. I'll also drain all the liquid from here once it's stopped draining from the valve. So it's, it's draining, still draining a little bit. And make sure the container is well below of the valve so that all the liquids are going into the container okay let it drain for a few more minutes so that is how the valve looks like so i took it off because the pressure of the liquid is now very slow you can see over there so i took it off 
and I cleaned up a little bit and once all the liquids are drained then I'll put it back in the other direction like clockwise direction to tighten it up and I'll tight so that I'll make it airtight so that no liquid is coming out of it thank you so uh, one step I forgot to mention earlier make sure the engine is not hot and it's cool uh, otherwise if you are going to flush the coolant and the engine is hot then there is possibility that the liquid may split and it may cause some other issues with the system or the car or even it may danger your personal safety also so make sure that the engine is cool and it's not hot so uh, once the liquid has been drained fully then i place back the valve into its original location and then make sure it's tight enough so let me check it again yeah it's tight enough and then no liquid is draining from it so then my next step is to take off that reservoir so the reservoir is mounted over here so first i will disconnect the hose over here and then i'll take it off and make sure there is no liquid into it and if there is any liquid i'll drain it <clears throat> okay so i took off the reservoir tank and there is some liquid into it old liquids so i will just pour it into the reservoir <clears throat> make sure there is nothing left into it so I'm pouring it into the container from the reservoir and I guess there is nothing into it and there is a mark into the reservoir max minimum so I will fill it up but I'll not go to the maximum position rather i'll fill it up into that my that position uh the so that particular location here i'll make sure the liquid is until that particular position so maximum is not required so let me pour some liquid into it i'm going to use this particular funnel to pour the liquid into the reservoir or the coolant so i'll place it over here and the coolant or freezing coolant i'll open it up and pour it into that reservoir that's how that's how the reservoir looks like when i poured new coolant liquid into the reservoir and now i'm going to place it place it back into its original position and connect the hose and then i'll do the rest of the things so uh, before placing the reservoir what i'm going to do i'm going to take off that coolant valve over here okay okay so there is nothing into it so i'll place it somewhere so that i can remember it so let me place it somewhere and then i'm going to place the adapter over here the adapter over here and then i'll pour the new coolant liquid so let me pour get the adapter and the splitless container so here is my split free funnel and these are the two adapters and the hair tightener i'm going to use so let me place the 
adapter first so i'm going to place the adapter and this is the tight tightener so that the liquid is not going out of it so i'm going to make sure it's placed properly yeah now it's good and that's how it, it will look like so i place the funnel also and for the funnel i'll pour the liquids so let me get the liquid and pour it so here is the liquid new liquid and i'm going to pour it slowly more liquid so, let me get more liquids into it more liquids So nothing is draining make sure nothing is draining yeah nothing is draining and don't worry about the reservoir nothing will be going into the reservoir it's one way i think So I finished pouring the coolant liquid into the system. That's how it looks like. So now I have to make sure any air or any gas inside the system is being out. So I have to turn on the car and keep it on for at least 20 to 30 minutes until the fan the radiator fan this is the radiator fan over here until the radiator fan is turned on uh, let me make sure i am just connecting the lead back or the hose back for the reservoir so i'm connecting it back okay it's tight enough and yeah it has the coolant here so now I'll go back to my car inside the car and turn it on. So, <coughs> so I'll turn it on and I'll make sure the AC is on and it is high on the heating. the AC is on and the heating is high so I will keep it on for at least 20 minutes or until the radiator fan is turned on okay so I turned on and you see all the air inside the system is coming out here yeah. so it's very important to turn it on and keep it on for few minutes at least 20 to 30 minutes so all the air from the system is coming out so once the fan is turned on then I will the fan is not turned on yet so once the, this is the fan the radiator fan is turned on then I will stop it while the car is on waiting for the radiator to radiator fan to turn on i'm going to 
place the all liquids into the that particular container so that I can put it into Walmart or any other auto store for recycling. So I will just open it and make sure the liquids are placed into that container, empty container. Okay. So I use that funnel, that particular funnel to pour back all the previously used coolant liquid into that container so that I can recycle it. So the fan is turned on. So the fan is turned on. It took almost 30 minutes as the fan is running. So it's time to take off that funnel, slip free funnel. So let me take it off. This is one of the sticks of this split free funnel. So I'm going to use it so that I can take it off without splitting the liquid into the car. So I'll place it. So now I think it's stopped. So I will use so I will use this cloth to hold it and take it off. In the meantime, the radiator fan is working. So it took me around 38 minutes for the radiator fan to turn on and running. So it's running intermittently. So let me take it off. So now I'm going to put the water back into the reservoir. So I'll just take off the stick. Make sure you're being very carefully. Now it's time to take off the valve and the adapter so do it very carefully. And let me take off the adapter. Okay. Then there is that valve. I'm going to put it back into the car. Okay. Um, let me clean it up a little bit. Clean up. <coughs> and I think everything is done. And that's it. Thank you for watching.